Hey, how's it going guys? This is your agent for the People Team coming at you again with another week's episode of your Friday's Facts. My name is Jeremiah Dorn. And I'm Malcolm Thomas. And we're here to talk to you today about selling your house by yourself or affectionately known as the for sale by owner process. Okay guys, our title to this segment is you can always sell your house by yourself. But at a discount. Absolutely, at a discount. First reason why you would like to hire an agent is marketing. Even if you were to market your home on every other platform, Zillow, Trulia, Craigslist, Facebook, all the other platforms, you're still only going to reach a percentage of the body of qualified buyers that are out there. Why is that? Why is that? Well, that is because you're working with people who are qualified buyers, they're working with a, a professional real estate, a real estate professional um, who has far more resources than the general population of own finding houses. I mm -hmm. We live in a uh, everything's at your resources or the tip of your fingers type of environment now. Uh, you know, everyone feels like they can do everything on their own. But I want you to use this analogy. When you go to court, you hire a lawyer for a reason. They're going to take care of everything. They're going to have everything to present in front of the judge to make sure that you can win the situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just as a real estate agent. We know tons of uh, deadline contingencies. We know tons of you know, loopholes to get out of the contract mm -hmm. and just obligations that both parties need to perform Absolutely. in order to make the transaction go through as smooth as possible. Yep. So don't skip past on a realtor because we are a great resource and I'm telling you, you'll sleep great at night. Yeah, I mean, technically you can represent yourself in the court of law just like you can represent yourself in buying a home, but see, the objection is to be effective. Exactly. And is it as effective for you to represent yourself when you have a speeding ticket or when you got into a car accident? Is it the same? Will you exhibit the same level of effectiveness if you do it yourself versus if you hire a professional who this is their job? Think about this. This is your home. This, this is, is your, your investment. Home. This is not just something that you signed on a dotted line and you know tomorrow you can get out of it. Make yeah. You yeah. Know, make sure you, that you, you know, hire someone that can yeah. point you in the right direction. Absolutely. I was going to say that buyer, that, that homeowner that we bought their house. There were tons throughout the transaction that they had no idea about. You know, um, and even when we got the appraisal back, he wanted to know what was the appraisal? What was the appraisal? Technically, we don't have to share that with you. And, and frankly, we didn't because we came, we came in and we we uh, we purchased a house that was worth 13,000 more than what you were selling it for, buddy, at your high price. So we held that confidence. We held that information to ourselves, that settlement. So I can represent my buyer the best way that I could. So, guys, hire a professional. You don't, you, this isn't what you do day in and day out. You may know contracts, but you may not know real estate contracts. You may have a buddy who's in real estate, but they may not be in the same, uh, they may not be required to follow the same standards as this locale does. Every state has a different, you know, a set of rules and regulations. So to make, you know, to wrap up, um, contact a representative at your agent for the people team. You know, again, I'm Jeremiah Dorn. And I'm Malcolm Thomas. This is Malcolm Thomas. Also, remember Jennifer as well. And, and Jennifer Dorn. And we have a team of agents that are here to help serve you the best way we know how. So this is our week's, ver uh, our week's episode for the Friday's Facts video coming at you from the agent for the people team. Like, and comment, and share. And remember, when you think about real estate, I want you to think about the agent for the people. Absolutely. See you next week, guys.